before you this evening with hearts filled with gratitude and reverence to celebrate the launch of some outstanding Ghanaians, Volume 1. This book is the first in a series of books by graphics, highlighting some outstanding Ghanaians who have excelled in various fields of competence in regional and international organizations worldwide. We acknowledge your divine guidance, God, with the grace that has led these individuals to achieve greatness and make significant contributions to their respective organizations and communities. We thank you for the talents and abilities and gifts you have bestowed upon each person featured in this book. We recognize that their achievements are a testament to your unfailing love and the power of your divine purpose working through them. We are also grateful for the cooperation of Ghana's successive governments, which endorsed most of these experts for acceptance by the regional and international bodies concerned. As we embark on this journey of unveiling the stories of excellence and expertise, we pray for your blessings upon this endeavor. May this book serve as a beacon of inspiration, illuminating the path for others to follow in the footsteps of these remarkable individuals. May it also cause our present and future generations in Ghana to acknowledge your greatness and to praise you. this occasion as we celebrate the accomplishment of these outstanding Ghanaians. May the Republic of Ghana be proud of these men and women who have made Ghana proud. Your holy name be praised and glorified in all that we do here this evening. And shall we all shout with a loud voice, Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. 
Dieu vous pense à vous. Le monde sait que vous ne pouvez pas vous dire 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 que vous ne pouvez pas vous Them into crude palm oil and palm kernel oil. 
the crude oil is further refined into bleached, deodorized, edible cooking oil, palm steering, and palm fatty acid for soap making. The factory generates its own power by blending the waste products of the operations. Empty fruit bunch, palm fiber, and shells into a biomass boiler to produce steam, which runs a turbine. The farming and factory operations offer direct employment to 453 people, 35 percent of whom are women. Apart from being a permanent member of the Santiman Council, Ghana was for 25 years a member of the National House of Chiefs, where he served as chairman of several committees of the House. Ghana has also been privileged to have been invited to serve the country on various boards, councils, and commissions by successive governments. Some of these are 72 to 82, member of the Lands Commission. 8022, member of the Ghana Broadcast Operation Board, 1990 to 2000, chairman of the Logic Teaching Hospital Board, 1992 to 2000, member of the Ghana Trade Fair Authority Board, 2004 to 2009, chairman of the KMST Council, 2001 to 2009, member of the Council of State. In 2017, and also appointed to serve in the Council of State and was unanimously elected chairman by his peers. He was reappointed in 2021 to the Council and, for a second time, his peers elected him as chairman. Nana has been actively involved in the constitutional development of this country. He was a member of the 1979 Constituent Assembly that drew up the Third Republican Constitution and also the 1992 Consultative Assembly that debated the 1992 Fourth Republican Constitution. He was the chairman of the Business Committee of that assembly. Nana's achievements in farming and agribusiness, exemplary traditional leadership and public service have earned him several awards and honors. These two. The most successful and innovative medium scale enterprise are judged by Unigo in conjunction with the Ghana Investment Promotion Center um, for its two, its agro processing company, Shuagan Oil and Mills. And the best last scale oil palm farmer at the National Farmers Day at Kiki Rosso, Doctor of Science, DSC, Honoris Causa, conferred by Kane Mr. Massey in recognition as one of its most distinguished alumni and the Order of the Star of Ghana, the highest civilian order by the government of Ghana in recognition of Manas' outstanding contribution to traditional leadership, every business, and the constitutional development of Ghana. Our distinguished chairman is Mamahime of Asante Chape, Nana Utu Shiro. This second. Introduce our special guest uh, momentarily, but for now, let's hear from our chairman at the University of Rwanda. Let's welcome Anna Kutu Su, the second. Distinguished special guest, Dr. K.Y. Mamanko, my classmates and bosom friends for six decades. <laughs> we were in Jamaica last week. <laughs> Justices of the Supreme Court, past and present. and members of GFX, distinguished outstanding Ghanaians and their families, distinguished invited guests, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure and honor to have been invited by this august association of GFX, GFX to chair this very important event. From what I have read and seen, Gifts 
is a unique association in our country. Professionals from diverse backgrounds who have served our country in different fields and who have gone out to serve humanity in all parts of the world through organizations such as the United Nations, African Union, World Bank, IMF, Commonwealth Secretariat, and return home to contribute further to Ghana development. Apart from its short-term projects, this unique association has developed a lasting ongoing project to identify some outstanding stars of our country and to shine a light on their lives, achievements, and legacies to help inspire us and our children. The project is to ensure that we don't forget these outstanding dynamics. As a country, it is important for us to know who we are, what we are capable of doing, and what we have achieved. This will give us confidence in ourselves, inspire us to strive to do more, and to ginger up our youth to emulate their outstanding achievements. We should be proud to tell our own stories and encourage our younger generation to appreciate our own role models. As I said, when one of this graphics series has just opened the gates for us to showcase our heroes and heroines, indomitable pioneers, superb professionals, men and women of great stature and standing, who work tall not only in our, on our Ghanaian soil, but also in different parts of our planet around the world. The senior ladies and gentlemen, how many of us know that Estelle Cruz carried her first jars of marmalade and bottles of fruit juice in her head and caught them on the streets of Accra, and yet became the first woman industrialist of our country with the incomparable Nkulenu Industries and also co-founder of Women's World Bank in 1976. How many of our young lawyers know and learn from the life of Ani Jage, who became the first woman judge of Ghana, the first woman judge in the British Commonwealth, the first African woman president of the World Council of Churches in Geneva, Switzerland, and father of the YWCA in Ghana in 1952. We hear a lot about shattered diplomacy in our lifetime. We know that the Colossus, who was Robert Gardner, undertook shattered diplomacy to help resolve the difficult Congo crisis in the 1960s after championing the Afghanization of the Ghana Civil Service. And while appointed as the second executive secretary of the United Nations Commission for Africa, ECA, which is served with extension for 12 years. And I'll leave this to our reviewer to tell us more about these great ideas. It is gratifying, however, to note that the celebrants in this book represent an impressive mix of talents. Men and women who achieve prominence in science, technology, mathematics, law, visual arts, education, medicine, industry, economic and social development, gender equality, administration, peace and security, and yes, chitterancy and traditional money. I'm happy to note that the, the secretary of the here today include not only fair families, friends and colleagues of these outstanding Ghanaians, but also distinguished leaders in Ghana's development, uh, in the Ghana development efforts, bankers, business leaders, representatives of diplomatic missions and international organizations, and particularly heads of senior high schools and universities who can carry the message to our young students. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I strongly encourage the businessmen and women, bankers, professionals, and our development partners, and international organizations, and each one of us to support the efforts of the Ghana Association of International Civil Servants, GAFICS, 
to pursue the implementation of this important project. And unless many more Australian Ghanaians from all walks of life and all parts of the country. Please reach out to the President, the president of Graphics to contribute to funding the research and development of subsequent publications of this media series. Finally, I wish to commend wholeheartedly Graphics for the excellent ideas of selecting not only some of their own peers, but also some Australian people outside the association to honor and present in this lasting way their invaluable achievements and legacies. I say congratulations to you. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, for your remarks. We are grateful that you could make time to be here with us. So we have a, a, with us a, a special guest who later down in the program will be playing a big role, um, but I would like to just reveal his identity to you right now. So our special guest is the founder and president of the African Center for Economic Transformation and former executive secretary of the United Nations Economic Protection for Africa. He has dedicated his career to solving the development challenges of the world's poorest countries, especially those in his mother continent. He began his career at the World Bank, becoming the bank's director for education and social policy. He served at the ECA at the rank of Under Secretary General of the UN, during which he transformed the institution to more effectively serve African policymakers to amplify the African voice internationally and to positively influence policy dialogue on Africa. After his 10 year service at the ECA, he was appointed as a distinguished African scholar at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars in Washington, D.C. and has worked with leading development experts and political leaders on high-level international conditions and task forces that address the development prospects of Africa in many of today's central global issues. More many others, he chaired the Commission for HIV, AIDS, and Governance in Africa and was a member of the Commission for Africa instituted by former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair, continues to work as president of the African Center for Economic Transformation. Um, our special guest, uh, let's just acknowledge him, Dr. K.Y. Amwanko. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. And now, I call on the president of Graphics to deliver the welcome address and introduce some of the Gaffics elders. Let's welcome Dr. William Collins Asari. Lana Wufu is a member of the international area and chairman of the Council of State. Distinguished uh, special guest, Dr. K.Y. Mwako. Honorable Justices of the Supreme Court. Reports, Nanamu, Excellencies, fellow Gaffics uh, members, Gaffics elders, distinguished and outstanding Ghanaians and their families, distinguished invited guests, friends of the media, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> and Dr. William Collins Asari, as mentioned a little while ago, and President of the Ghana Association of former international civil servants, Gaffins. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you all and to thank you 
for attending today's book lunch. For us at uh, GAFEX, it's certainly a very, very historic occasion for us and uh, also one which makes us very proud, gets us into the news. It's also an honor for me to express here the gratitude of GAFEX to Dr. Eugenia Datima and her team for arranging today's event so very well. As uh, most people, most, as most people in the audience are aware, Dr. Datima is a fellow of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, which is hosting us today, in addition to being a very active and dedicated member of GAFA. Thank you very much. I'm able to be here. Among the personalities at this table with us here are two Catholic elders, namely Nana Dr. S.K.D. Asante, uh, with a school name of Nana Susubibi Probia Asante, and Dr. Andrew Akutu. Dr. S.K.B. Asante is a former Solicitor General of Ghana, law lecturer, and former director of the United Nations Center on Transnational Cooperation. Nana was also the chairman of the Committee of Experts that formulated proposal for the 1992 Constitution, and uh, as we mentioned earlier, Paramount Chief of uh, Asokori. Uh, you are very welcome. Dr. Andrew Akutu was a lecturer at the University of Ghana Medical School, a former representative of the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, professor of obstetrics and gynecology at the University of Dar es Salaam, and uh, founding president of GAFET. Dr. Akutu, you are very welcome. We don't have so many elders, but that, the, another Gaffet Center who was to have joined us here uh, would have been Dr. Mary Chinri Hesse, the first female Deputy Director General of the International Labor Organization, IAO, and currently Chancellor of the University of Ghana, Labor. Dr. Chinri Hesse. <laughs> Dr. Mary Chinri Hesse is unable to be here with us today but we are sure that she will be watching the live streaming of this historic event of our association. Uh, during the second part of the program, yeah, Dr. Jim Distinguished guests, outstanding persons covered by the book, my colleague graphics members, fellows of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, ladies and gentlemen. My intention is to provide you with a brief panoramic view of the graphics project whose first output we are launching today. About three years ago, our indefatigable um, colleague and elder, Nana Dr. S.K.B. Asante, started posting on the graphics WhatsApp platform tributes he had prepared over the years about some people who, from their stories, from the tributes, appeared to have played a major role in terms of legacies they have left in their communities in the country and also in other parts of the world. And yet they were not known to most of us. And we thought that if something was not done about it, soon they would be completely forgotten. Some of us found the limited information on their life stories 
fascinating and were prompted to conceive a project to document some of these unsung heroes and heroines, dead or alive, so that they can inspire and stimulate current and future generations. Garfield set up a team to work on this project, consisting of Dr. Agnes Akosia Edu, who is here. I want her to stand so that we can all see her. <laughs> a former Minister Representative to Tanzania. And then myself, a former director at the ILO Geneva. I was also appointed the team leader, perhaps because of my relative youth, in a group, in a group of many octogenarians and octogenarians. The group commenced its work by formulating an analytical framework and a project document for the research. The framework in Italia mapped out the criteria for selecting people to be covered, the kinds of data to be collected, and the methodologies for such data collection. Since there was no population universe of such people to select a sample from, the project team had to rely on proposals by people within and outside graphics for consideration, provided those people met the criteria outlined in the project framework and document. Because politicians tend to be well known, people we consider to be primarily political figures were excluded from the project. As part of the formulated project, the project team also prepared terms of reference for a research assistant to help the team to collect the required data through interviews of people selected for coverage or if deceased, their relatives, as well as from desk research. The project was very fortunate to hire a capable research assistant, Barbara Pong. I don't know whether she's in the room, but she is somewhere. Um, Barbara Pong. Um, Anyway, you, you will see her if you haven't already seen her. She holds a master's degree from the University of Essex in the UK, and she has been invaluable in this way. In the course of the project's implementation, the team was persuaded also to include some outstanding Ghanaians whose achievements have been already recognized, but who could be forgotten in the future to ensure that information about them is always readily available and they are not forgotten. The team made every effort to ensure that both women and men were covered, as can be gleaned from the first volume, which you will soon see. It has not always been easy to identify outstanding people from some districts and regions of the country, and also from some fields like farming and trading. Therefore, we would appreciate proposals from such areas for possible consideration in future volumes. A number of quality control measures for the work were instituted as an integral part of the project's implementation. They were often time consuming and frustrating to comply with, such as the extensive review and changes by some um, members of GAFIS, especially Charles Bredema. I don't know whether Charles is with us here. Where's Charles Bredema? Yeah. Charles is a former director at the Union Office in Montreal. 
And there was also Karen Kausa, who spared no time and effort in terms of counseling and putting red marks on every page. Where is Karen? However, there are no doubt that these quality control measures were, have contributed to enhance the quality of the project's output. The write-ups included in this first output of the project are fascinating, not only in terms of the life histories and achievements of the people covered, but also the significant light they throw on different aspects of Ghana's social history, Ghana's culture, colonial and post-colonial environments, and now evolving political context. Among the men and women covered in volume one are the following. A distinguished development planner, who is also multi-talented in the visual and performing arts. A world acclaimed mathematical genius and scientist. A respected and committed engineer and scientist, devoted to global peace, security, and national development. An international legal scholar, dedicated to public service at international, national, and local levels. A pioneer medical doctor and researcher on drug development for treating rigor blindness. There are also an iconic photographer who famously chronicled Ghana's independence era in pictures. A dedicated medical practitioner and international civil servant. An African woman who generally walked, in the, walked the national and international corridors of power as an ardent voice on economic and development issues, gender equality, and African imperatives. A celebrated first female Ghanaian University professor and pro-vice chancellor. An outstanding pioneer female anesthetist, professor of medicine, and first female president of the West African College of Surgeons an outstanding and dedicated national and international civil servant. A pioneer lady superior court judge in Ghana and the Commonwealth, and an outstanding women's rights activist at national and international levels. An exceptional world-class international lawyer and judge. A pioneer Ghanaian woman, scientist, with vision and many accomplishments, nationally and internationally. The first volume also includes an acclaimed pioneer woman industrialist with demonstrable determination to support vulnerable women nationally and internationally. A public servant exceptionally knowledgeable about the seabed and its mineral world. An outstanding visionary leader in health and medical education, a public health trailblazer and polymath. A pioneer Ghanaian female clinical psychologist with exceptional empathy and commitment to helping others. And finally, a medical doctor patriot with the zeal of a missionary. To know more about these outstanding Ghanaians, please buy copies of the book. <laughs> there are some commonalities among the 19 outstanding Ghanaian men and women covered by volume one. Almost all are or were trailblazers, the first in their professions or positions held within or outside the country. They were able to excel both nationally and internationally and to leave huge legacies, which we are still benefiting from. They were multi-talented or polymaths. Above all, they are or were patriots. Let's rest that the people in volume one are not ranked higher than those yet to be covered in subsequent volumes. They are only those whose write-ups have been completed. Because of the large number of such outstanding Ghanaians, the project envisages several of such volumes if requisite funding and resources can be found for them, such as through this book launch and donor contributions. The projects we set to work so far and the publication of this first volume have been financed only from contributions by graphics makers themselves and pro bono work by some graphics researchers and compilers. As a follow-up, we hope 
that institutions like the media, libraries, National Commission for Civic Education, educational institutions, and other relevant bodies and individuals will take this volume and subsequent run, runs and run with them by way of disseminating information they contain, especially the awesome lives the people have led who are covered in the book. Their careers and achievements are so that they can inspire others, especially the youth. Ladies and gentlemen, let me emphasize that we hope the content of this first volume, as, as well as subsequent ones, will contribute to alleviate the depth of information on some outstanding Ghanaians and also add to the institutional memory of our country. This indeed is the overall aim of the project. Finally, we hope that you would love the volume as much as the project team and graphics do, so that you are motivated to make contributions enthusiastically to sustain the project. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Eugenia Dateva, graphics member, for the statement of the project on some outstanding Ghanaians and for teasing us to go and get a copy of the book to find out exactly what else remains in it. I wish I could say that I was the one to provide the musical interview, but I'm not. Dr. Adakwe will give us a little bit of music, sport music, and we will make ourselves ready for the presentation of the review. So we're going to have a monitor come over. Can we have a monitor over? And then the screen will come up. We'll come down, and then we'll have a book review. Put that away. the power. 
Chicago that I can one man orchestra. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great start. And this stands up nicely for the reviewer of this book, who was listed in 2016 by the New African Monthly Magazine, published in London, as one of 100 outstanding Africans in the field of education, currently the chairman of the National Teaching Council, a passionate advocate for quality education, as an author and a daily graphic columnist, if you observe on Mondays, that's where he brings his thoughts to bear on the paper. He's a senior lecturer, teaching creative and critical thinking to the next generation of doctors at the Accra College of Medicine. Let's welcome our reviewer, Mr. Anis Hafa. Flooded with many of my seniors. He's white. Let's be my eyes, shall we please? After two, it's another one. And uh, Dr. Enid, it's another one. Now, when you have these people as mentors, you smile at a storm. Another one. Wow. <laughs> Very good. Now, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please allow me to stand by the existing protocols. There are so many reputable people in this room that looking through the audience, my eyes are glazed with fear and anxiety. I mean it. And if I make mistakes, I forgive me. I'm overwhelmed by your presence. I'm blessed to have a good many of you as my mentors, in whom I have the greatest respect. And if I were to list all of you and to exhaust the time allocated for this review, so please bear with me. I'm truly honored for the opportunity to review a book which I consider exceptional, a pathfinder, and to need to mainstream an education system to guide the youth in Ghana and Africa. To begin with, the substance of this book and I've got the first copy. Do I get anything on this one? I've got the first copy. The rest of you have to buy it. That's why we're here. You know, the, the book set my mind wandering all the way back to my school days in colonial Ghana, starting from Mbwase to Kumasi in the 1950s. I'm not an octogenarian, but I'm getting there. <laughs> Our knowledge of great people at the time was restricted to characters in a history book called The Makers of Civilization. I'm sure some of you were victims of this. I don't know why. Oh, you remember it? Okay, oh, very good. Though the icons listed were mostly of African origin, they were portrayed to us in European images of historical and religious icons. In the last century, to reverse the mystification, great thinkers, movers and shakers, like Marcus Garvey, or Sajifo Kwame Krumen, George Padmore, W.E.P. Du Bois, C.R. James, J.E.K. de Hefford, Paul Robeson, and some earlier Pan-Africanists, intimated the concept of the African personality. Nkrumah and Du Bois, for example, saw the proper curation and dissemination of African history through a vehicle they called the Encyclopedia Africana. The chief purpose of that superb initiative was twofold. One, to elevate the status of the African in the eyes of the wider world. And two, to inform, grow, and shield the confidence of younger people of African descent. And what better way to celebrate that purpose than spotlighting the solid achievements of Africans throughout world history? 
The idea was so profound and timely, knowing damn well that Western intellectuals, for insidious, crafty imperial controls, found it expedient to restrict the history of our African continent by making it begin and end with a transatlantic slave trade. What a profound delight it was then when I received a call from my mentor and advanced senior, Dr. A. A. Abutu, instructing me to review the new book, Graphic Series on Some Outstanding Ghanaians, Volume 1. If I knew it was going to be like this, I can remember. <laughs> because I'm scared. <laughs> How excited the 12 then when I received this hard copy from Dr. Kofi DeGraff Johnson, excuse me, one of Gaffick's executives, you see here? And Kofi, with that Good. Now, Gaffick's happens to be the initials of Ghana Association of Former International Civil Servants, made up of former staff of the United Nations, the World Bank, International Monetary Fund, African Development Bank, etc. It was formed with the objective of contributing to the nation's progress by availing the skills and expertise of its members to help in governmental institutions. A prime objective of Gaffix is aimed at alleviating the scarcity of information on some outstanding Canadians by documenting their successes to inspire generations and also to ensure that such people are never forgotten. Casting the spotlight on both men and women, this publication, as it was said earlier, covers medical doctors, scientists, lawyers, international civil servants, administrators, a photographer, and an entrepreneur in food processing. While a few came from relatively well-to-do backgrounds, others were not as endowed, but nevertheless showed incredible determination to reach greater heights. Now, it was noted in the introduction that, and I quote, as the output was to be non-political and unpartisan, the project team tended to exclude people with substantial investment in politics. Quotation closed. To which I say, hallelujah. <laughs> Since, unlike the celebrities in this book, many of those individuals already have their rewards in their bank accounts. <laughs> don't, don't quote me on that one. That's only for your information. And it's restricted to this room. Hope I saw a council account. <laughs> anyway, some of the icons in this book combine professional achievements with philanthropy, community service, and powerful advocacy for gender issues and so on. More of such volumes, as we been told, will cover other outstanding Ghanaians from different parts of the country to demonstrate purpose, determination, hard work, and the will to succeed. Another lesson to be drawn from their careers was that even if one came from lonely backgrounds, they could still aspire to achieve excellence uh, irrespective of the daunting obstacles. These days, where the youth seem confused about the direction of this great country of ours, it is worth holding up to them the models of these exemplars to inspire them to achieve not only for their own individual selves, but to serve the nation and the larger international community. As Albert Schweitzer put it, and I quote, I do not know what your destination will be, but one thing I do know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who have sought and found the means to help others. Now, 
This hardbound 510 page will consist of 21 chapters, two of which are the introduction and the conclusions. The rest are devoted to 19 iconic personalities. Let's wear the appetites with this video for a start. Just one video. We have the sun. Just one video to show, to give you an idea of the kind of people who are listening. But we have done the same thing for everyone. So that hopefully in the future we will do that proper documentary. Team together if you want full development in your country. Listen, Jackie, for somebody who. Mrs. Jackie was somebody who very precious. She told me that she became a high court judge because of her crime. And she said uh, there was some national function at that end. And Kuma came out and the Chief Justice, Justice um, Corsa, came out you know, with him and introduced the judges one after the other. And when the woman got to her, he said, are you a high-court judge yet? And she said, no. And he turned to uh, Justice Costa and said, why haven't you made that one? <laughs> and he said, oh, so the um, Britain doesn't even have one. And said, we are slow about it. Why should we be slow about it? And he said, um, you know, Mr. President, I can't judge this address as my lord. And I can't see myself addressing somebody's wife as my lady. <laughs> and so he asked Mrs. Yahoo, she might then be addressed as my lord. And she said, no. He said, make a wife. <laughs>
And we have Dr. Koku Eni. Please take a bow. That's a good senior ambassador. Those of you, I think one of the former, two of them are lower sex or so. And when you have problems with your chemistry or fixes, you go to the pain, you fix you up. So with that, I thank you for being here. And then we have Nana Dr. Samuel Wati Asante. Nana Susu Bribi Kopia Asante. An international legal brain dedicated to public service at the international national levels. <laughs> and a career medical doctor and researcher on drug development for treating river blindness. Dr. Abla Awati. <laughs> and we have James Bannon, an iconic photographer. He famously chronicled Ghana's independence era in pictures. This is just a few of them. The rest are in the book, but we have to buy the book to find out. <laughs> I'm just trying to whet your appetite. After that, let me You never told me that. Very good. And then we have Samuel Henry Griggs, a medical practitioner and international civil servant. And my own Dr. Jim Hesse. Do you see the picture at the bottom? What was she doing? It's a high jump. You know, so the achievement started early at Wesley Girls. And she became an adamant voice on economic development issues, gender equality, and especially African matters. And our own Dr. Dolphin. Huh? Auntie Dolphin, man. Is she here? Oh, sorry, sorry. Let, let's do that. Anyway. You'd be surprised how much you want to be the rest of us. Thank you very much for being there. A university professor and co chancellor, and Professor Johnson Crab, a female pioneer and aesthetist, we have to learn to say that word, professor of medicine, and a female president of West African College of Surgeons. <laughs> and Robert Kweku Atagami, when we were growing up, he was always in the papers. So we got to know who he was, you know, and uh, I got to know his son too. A dedicated national and international civil servant. <laughs> and one of my favorite justice, Ani Jagi. And you'd be surprised that uh, a road named after her. I found that from the book and the other pictures of her too. A pioneer lady, superior court judge in Ghana and Commonwealth, and an outstanding women's rights activist. <laughs> and Judge Dr. Thomas Bwachi, a Bwachi Mesa, a world class international lawyer and a judge. <laughs> you know, can you imagine? If these people were not showcased in this book, some of us would never be able to. So this is a process that has begun. And I think volumes one, volume two, three, four, and how many? We are there to support you. Okay? And Dr. Leticia Hopin, a pioneer woman scientist with vision. <laughs> and Esther Oku. I'll tell you because my wife is here. Whenever she has a fixed palm super pet, she gets one of her products. <laughs> I've been living on it for a long time. <laughs> and I came woman industrialist, supporting vulnerable women nationally and internationally. <laughs> Me, Abote Oduto, a pioneer scientist of the CPEC and its mineral growth.
Confessor Samuel Otuama, and I'm proud to say he's an uncle of mine. My daughter is married to the nephew, and I feel so honored to have been factored into this particular family. <laughs> I think you know what they say? Behind every great man, there's a greater woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Dr. Araba Sifa Dede. Yay! I know everyone. The clinical psychologist with exceptional empathy for helping out of people. Dr. Fred Pedro Uraha, a patriot medical doctor with the zeal of a missionary. This book is powerful because these are the exemplars. These days, it's very difficult to find a mentor. So, Gaffix has done us a favor by introducing some wonderful people for us. But like I said, they have to be mainstreamed into our education system. So that when we talk about the makers of civilization, we have our civilization right here in Ghana yeah. with people who support one in the life. Now, this is just a summary of the people in there. To know more, what do you have to do? You didn't hear me. To know more, what do you have to do? And you don't need to buy one, but you buy one. In order. <laughs> because we have, we have students, we have relatives, some of them are not in Accra, some of them are outside the country. It is, and then, uh, could we have any problem to do break? I mean, although they didn't have any problem in Tanzania, why are you able to get it? <laughs> in conclusion, when the review of this book was first published in my column in the graphic, the responses were quite positive. I was able to receive some feedback from readers asking why so and so were not included. You can't miss this person. And I would say, take it a deep breath. It is well knowing that this is merely the beginning. The very first volume with other volumes in a pipeline. Good. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, let's thank the executive and members of CAFEX, in particular the three compilers, Eugenia Dati Pan. Sorry. My soul sister Agnes Apusia Indu. You know, I met this wonderful lady when she was teaching at UCLA, and she was introduced to me by my wife. But later on, when I was looking for her, I couldn't find her. She had gone to Ethiopia. Left us unceremoniously. So I haven't seen her in about 40 years old. And you and I have a dinner date. Yeah. And Barbara Okon. Very good. Very good. Again, thanks to Catholics for the opportunity to celebrate this with you this afternoon. And God bless our homeland, Ghana. A for awesome, A for Anis. Wonderful review. I think he deserves to be a good Again, A for applause. A for applause. That was masterfully done. Um, Mr. Hafa, thank you so much for teasing us and making my job as an auctioneer, A for auctioneer, also quite it's easier because he's, he's so good. All I have to do is collect the money, guys. 
Thank you so much. We will now have the launch of the Affleck series on Some Outstanding Guardians, Volume 1. And our chairman has the honor of doing that. I'm going to bring the microphone over to him again. Um, Nana Kutosubo the second to launch the book. Can I have a copy of the book, please, for the chairman to Even for the entire night table to all hold it after this month. That's the swiftest launch I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's appreciate our channel, please. We're going to have a good one now. So, for the book launch, I have a couple of rules. There are only three, only three rules. Very easy. So the first rule of the book launch and the auction is that if you're not buying, you're clapping. Which means that once somebody announces an amount that they want to use to support the book launch, they will clap. Is that okay? It, it, it makes the person feel appreciated and it makes you also feel that I'm doing some good work. <laughs> and it just creates good and positive energy in the room. So if you're not buying a family. Number two. Um, this, this has to do with eye movements and hand movements. Because I, I consider those to be buying signals. Yeah. 
I consider movements above your head to be a declaration that, oh, I would like to buy it. You know? You know? So, so if you have to rearrange your head right now, do it right now because it's a good I will see that you don't buy it. My, my, my mentors are those who sell in the streets of all the, the major towns in this country, the towns and cities, the hawkers. Those people are very sensitive to hand movements, even eye movements. How they do it, I don't even know. Because you're driving, you're in town, you're driving, you're observing traffic, so you're looking straight ahead, maybe one or two hands on the steering wheel, hopefully two. And then your, your head is looking straight, but your eye is to the left, and they're by your window. Yes! <laughs> so those are the people who taught me how to sell. So I'm very, 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 very sensitive to buying signals. This is the point where people who know me now find their phones more interesting than the auction because they don't want to catch my eye. But it's okay, it's all in, it's, it's, it's in, it's in good fun and good nature and there's no pressure. We are just trying to support the authors, the compilers of this majestic work. I mean, when I read the first entry, I thought, wow, this is it. This is it. And then there come the people there that I know have spoken to and I know that they are one of them. The panel is one of them, great photographer. So the second rule is that uh, uh, I'm very sensitive to uh, hand signals. If you want to buy an anonymous name, just raise your hand and then uh, I will come and take your offer and I will mention your name. But if you want to mention your name, no problem, I can do that. The third rule, because there are three rules, the third rule is uh, it's about betrayal. You know? uh, in this book launch, betrayal is very much about if you don't want to buy or can't buy or want to buy, but you need your neighbor time, you don't know this. <laughs> Because now you're never doing that, that's what you're doing. You know? <laughs> and then I'll come over. <laughs> Alright? I'll come over. So, with that, with those three rules out of the way, um, let us begin. Can I have a look at the book, please? Yes, so that's the music in the background for me. Thank you so much. So, over 500 pages, 19 distinguished Ghanaians. I'll give a prize for you to name all of them. They're all behind us. So I'm going to take a first offer. My dear mom, if she rests in peace, said, come with me. If you ever ask for something, ask for a lot. All they can say is no. <laughs> oh yes. They say yes, great. And so it's the beginning of a negotiation. Alright? So yes, I'm going to start with a... Let me get an initial offer of 30,000 Ghana CDs. <laughs> and I know it because, because most of us here are Ghanaians, we are slow. We take our time, you know. Can the music come down a tad bit, just a little bit? Music a little bit lower. It's a bit too loud. Can the music come down a little bit? Yes. You know, you know the, 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 the black stars never win their first game. They never. Most of us are Ghana won their first game. It doesn't happen. Yeah. Can the music come down, come down, come down, like a carpet? Right now it's like a roof. Yeah, so carpet. Thank you. So um, I know the initial offer will be a slow one. It will be quiet. It will take some time, but it's okay. You know. Yeah. Black stars. We don't win our first game. We lose. And the second game we draw. And the third game we can't eat. They cannot take me. Yes. Yeah. So I want to start with the initial for third. You can actually come together as combined. You know. Yeah. Five or six people will come together and and buy. Copies. How you read them is, is your issue. If four people decide to buy one book, you have to draw lots to see who reads first. Yes, but I have a hand up there. Let me go see what's going on. Yeah, I like it. It is like I hear because it's not very good. I guess we'll take the time. <laughs> Alright. Who raised their hand for me? Somebody raised their hand. Yes!
Father, he gets five, not one, not two, not three, but four, but five copies of the book so that you can read one and share with other people. So give me five copies, sister. Thank you so much. That's our first of five books for 20,000. And we are putting it into the next book. What a progress. And you listen to the rules. Because you will not buy it, he was buying it, which was great. So grab your sauce. Okay, that was good. We got to a good start. I forgot to ask whether it was a career because I just don't think that time is a good career, a fast one. So I'm looking for another offer for the books. Um, we consult with my consultant. <laughs> All right. Can I have a 20,000 offer, please? A couple of 20,000 offers it will not be bad at all. Yeah. Mommy's advice is working. Son, ask for a lot. Any 20,000 in the house? Please be careful if you raise your hand, pointing to somebody else, if you want to buy a book. Then I'll talk to you. <laughs> any 20s in the house, my digital books people, if there are any 20s in the house, let me know. Any 20,000 offers in the house. You can come together, two, three, four people can come together. And it, it, it's, it's not instant, it's not a normal transfer, genealogy, immediately, no. You pledge, you write a check, give us cash, we're happy. Any 20s in the house, please. We're thinking about the next volumes, volume 2, volume 3, volume 4, volume 5, as it's a half a set, then you have one. Any 20 in the house, any 10 is in the house, any 10,000 in the house, I'll be happy uh, to hear from you. Any 10 is, raise the music a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Everyone went to Kuala and I was asking, why is there so much music in the store? So people oh, buy it when they listen to music. And it's true. I go to Kuala and I'm singing cool with the guy and the Bee Gees and I'm singing and I'm buying one that should be buying. So. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any tents in the house? Any tents in the house? Any 10,000 offers? Remember, we are supporting this book so that they can cover the cost of production and they can also they can also get into the next copies of the book, uh, our next volume of the book. It's full of pictures as well. We have to great pictures and really well-written biographies of outstanding Ghanaians. Completely outstanding ideas. Any twenties in the house? Any twenty offers in the house? Twenty thousands in the house? Ten thousands? Uh, looking around. Okay. Thank you very much. Doctor Kweku Enning, ten thousand Ghana CDs. Thank you. All right. Doctor Kweku Enning, thank you so much. We have forty thousand. Very well. There must be a few more ten thousands in the house. I, I sense it. I have a GPS. Very sensitive. Somebody's pointing. Oh, this ah, this hand that is up. Hand that is up. Hand that is up. Family of Anishake. Oh. <laughs> I want to say ten thousand. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. Thank you, okay? Thank you so much. We're up to fifty thousand. Not bad. Not too well. Any more tens in the house? Any more tens in the house? that support the the spreading of this knowledge. Young people. Ten, uh, please consult with Mr. Lani. Yes. Any more ten thousands in the house? Hello, students. How are you? Is that my old school there? Yes, <laughs> I think so. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Any tents in the house, any twenties in the house, be feel free to counter, counter me if I'm walking around ten thousand, want to give fifteen or twenty, I don't mind. Is there is there any action happening on um, on social media? Are we are we streaming this? Yes, we're streaming this on YouTube, YouTube and Facebook, the Digibox platform. Yeah. Digibox. So, so we're live on YouTube and Facebook. I'm sure we're monitoring. This is what you're watching there, and if somebody makes a offer, I'd like to hear from them. Yes. Any more tenants in the house? Be my scout. So if you see anybody raise their hand, just let me know, and I will come closely to them. Somebody is, is, is rearranging his hairstyle. I told them. Bro. I told him. I told him. <laughs> Any tenants in the house? Any twenties? Any fives in the house? Any five thousand offers for the book? Oh, come eight thousand. There's some eight thousand offers in the house. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Supporting the book. Graphic series on some outstanding. Um, Ghanaians, we find those who have given already, taking us up to, to 50,000, um, let's say 100, at least, you know, and then go up if we can. So I want to read a little bit for you. 
uh, while you are thinking about what to give. Okay. So there's a forward here by Kwekudia or Said Bumsu, uh, President of Gafix, March 2019 to March 2023. And uh, he speaks about his uh, delight to have written this forward. There's a nice chapter here of acknowledgement. People who contributed to making this book come out and be a success. Really well done by Digi Books. And uh, you want this on your on your library, in your library, to be able to read. To let people know that ah, you are in tune with what's happening. Any yeah. office in the house? Any tents in the house? Any fives? Any eight thousand offers in the house? I'll be really, really happy. Remember, you're not doing this just for uh, for for just for fun. You are actually perpetuating the memory of people who have done a lot and. It's almost criminal that I'm only hearing about some of them now. When I'm in my early 50s. I'm a small boy here. <laughs> it's like this is good for me. Yeah, so, so it's, it's something that we really want to support. And so I'm looking for any more offers to help us get there. Uh, come together as a family, as four schoolmates, as uh, colleagues. And let's, let's support this book. Let's uh, make it happen. Any more, any more hands up in the air? Is hand? Okay. Please so don't raise your hand. Uh, if you have any anonymous donations you want to make, you just give me a call. You don't have to. I don't have to reveal your identity. I'll make sure that you get to. I have about 15 minutes to be wrapped up with the auction. I want to end at 6 o'clock. And we can tell my hand is up. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to mention the time that I have to So we can mention the time more often. Okay. The hand was up here somewhere. So the family of Dr. Leticia Thank you so much if you're not buying a jacket. Alright, we have 60. Good. Alright. Oh, okay. So we have 60,000 right now. Thank you. 
I think I stayed with everyone, right? Leave me a permanent citizen. I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm going nowhere. <laughs> I'm a permanent citizen. So while that is going wrong, let's go to you. Oh, okay, all right. So Dr. Akutu, 10,000 to get five books. We are 95,000. Wow. I like it. The family of Dr. Ghana, five books, four, five thousand, I'm sorry, and we're going to a hundred thousand. If you're not buying your cafe, family of me, I look at the good two, five thousand, we are one to five thousand. One to five, it sounds like a really good person. One to five, one to five, one to five, let's get to one ten. Any more fives in the house, this is nice. I think I should stay here more. I was too far away from you. One hundred five thousand. The music is working, so thank you for the music. We are 105,000. I have 10 minutes to my deadline. It's a Tuesday clock for me. 10 minutes to, to 6. So, you want? Okay. I'm going to read something. Yes. Yeah, do, do so. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. I think we are enjoying the five five. There's one of our secrets. So, it's five books for 5,000. Family of Dr. Boo Graves. We have one table. One table. You do well. We want to meet up. Okay, so Dr. Abutu's books, the 10,000 you bought was for the fun spin school. Yes. 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 The mobile, the mobile boys will be reading. Yes, really good stuff. One ten thousand. The reviewer was a mobile guy, so why not? Yes, we have one ten. We have one ten. Let's get to one ten. My middle name is not Olive, but my mother was Olivia, so yeah. one more. <laughs> yes, remember this is seed funding for the next book. We're covering the cost, and we're thinking of the next book. I have this app. Oh, is it a betrayal or it's a, it's a, I don't know. It's right here. It's you. Who was it? Ah, all right. <laughs> Yes, more than five. Yes, for five thousand. Five for five, okay? Five for five. Five for five. five. We're selling. Very well. Thank you so much. One fifteen. Let's get to one twenty. Who's taking us to one twenty thousand? I'll be happy. Yeah. Doing very well. These are great books. Uh, uh, so, I remember when all my kids tend to have like the teachers that have bad handwriting. Can you drop a little bit? And so they wanted to go and read my, my first copy book. And I thought, man, what a dreary, dreary uh, exercise. Can you drop the music down? Drop the music for me, please. So I said, we are getting the histories of important people. So I got one of them, a history of Marcus Garvey. No, no, uh, Mandela, Nkrumah, and Agri. And every day they just had to read a biography in one page and write it out. Imagine my shock. Shortly after Mandela had passed away, we were watching the news when my son, Mandela passed away over 10 years ago, is that correct? I think 2013. So my son was like nine years old. We were watching the news and then Ahmed Kafrada, one of Mandela's buddies in prison, came up. And my son said, I know that man. And I looked at him and said, How do you know that guy? So oh, the book that you gave me to write out for my history, for my view, for my writing, I saw that Ahmed Kafrada was there. You know, if I were going to go, or, or we're going to do this exercise again, I'll go and give them a copy of this book. So they just write out a page a day. And subconsciously, they are absorbing great stuff. This is not chaff, this is pure gold, you know, of people who are like us because they're from here. You know, and we can associate with them. Imagine what that would do for the brains of young children. So this book, I think you want to give it to them like an early Christmas gift, a Christmas gift in March for young people. For libraries, for young, children, like young people, 
And what am I learning from education? Primary, secondary, tertiary, it's great. How much have we done to so far? Is it 150 or 120? Just check in to see who they are following. 115? Alright. Anyone know 5,000 in the house? Anyone know 5? Any 3,000 offers in the house, we are 115. Any 3,000 offers in the house, I will take them and run. Any 3,000 offers in the house for copies of the book, I will take them. I hand this out. If you're not buying your traffic, please. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have 118. 118. Any more threes in the house? Any threes, any fives? We're taking pledges, we're taking checks, we're taking cash. Any 3,000? Ah, it's not a house. 3,000 in the house. 3,000, where is it? It's over there. Okay. So we have one in team now. Okay. All right. So I call what you have on behalf of the always in support of the near near the dear for two thousand we have one twenty thousand if you don't buy your family one twenty thousand so the two the three the four we are happy to take them any two thousand any three thousand offers any four thousand any fives if you want and these are getting five for five it's a good deal so yeah we have one twenty thousand now I think somebody sent me a request that they were gonna give something so this is These ones. Okay, so that's all. I already read that. These ones have already been read. But I'll make this family has already given. Okay, so we're at 120,000 right now. We're looking for more. Yeah. You can always ask for more. Any more offers in the house? And support the book. Ah, excellent. Family of Dr. Araba Sefati D. 5,000 and CDs. Thank you. You don't buy your family. Alright. Okay. Any more fives? Any more fours? Any more threes? Any more twos? Ah, that's another hand. So much if you're not buying, we're not clapping. 123. Thank you. I like the way they went about the house around two and they went to three. More of that. I like that kind of civil disobedience. Thank you. Anyone in that in, in the house? Anyone offers 2,000, 3,000, 5,000? Be happy to take it for you. Um, just to let you know, there's, a, there's an extensive at the end of the book, after the conclusion. There's a really, really good uh, index where you go, just jump to where you want to go to. So it starts with the TV and it ends where? Sun Tatua and everything in between. This is, this is a really, really well edited, well packaged book. You know? Uh, I'm going to be eating this while you're having palm soup. I don't, I don't encourage you that. Like, suppose the palm soup were to splash the book. Nothing will happen, just wipe it. It's one of the advantages of getting a hard, hard back. You can read while you're having your cool in the pantsuit. Like Mr. Hammer has been having religiously for the past how many, how many years. 
20 years, the manager is 80 pounds for the career. What a customer. <laughs> yeah, so you can do that with the book now. All right, any more offers in the house? Any more offers? I'd be really happy to take them. We have 125,000 right now. I think somebody's making an offer there. And we'll see what it's all about. Thank you very much. Any thousands in the house? Two thousands in the house. Thank you.
Yes. The, the family of Dr. Ofusua a thousand and fifty for two copies. Yeah, we have one forty seven five hundred. Yes. So one thousand five hundred for three copies taking us to yes, one for one hundred forty nine thousand. Our Lady of Grace School, CMS School, you know, part of the no problem. Take and thousand five for three copies. So thank you, school. So it's going there for the two children to read. Please support the libraries of your hometowns. I like the idea. We are 149,000. Any more library donations? Ah, more library donations. More library donations, more personal donations, more for 9,000. We're doing very well.
Anthony, Gretchen, hello. Can we see Merton? Merton is here. Let's serve Merton, 1005. We're at uh, 160. Where am I now? Okay. 166,500. Accra Girls, Old Students Associate. Agosa. Mrs. Uh, Peru A. 5,000 dollar series. We're at one. 165 plus 5 is 1. 170. No, 166. 171. We're at 171,000. Any more? Oh, okay. 171. We're doing well. We're doing well. We're doing well. We're doing well. Is a hand up? Is a hand up? There's a hand up. Hello? Alright. Unicef got a thousand, two weeks. If you're not buying a cab, then come on. 172. Please hold it. I think you're in your books. I think seven. Please serve, please serve. Alright, 172. We're almost done. We're almost done. Any more hands in the hand? Five, thousand. 2,000, 5,000, we're at 172, the books are coming. Let the Lord send the books right now, before you do it. Alright, thanks. Okay. So, Idei Samuels, friends of Dr. Optimus Richard Upper Harrison, 3,000 other CDs, books. So, where are we now? Who's counting with me? <laughs> We are 180. Can we see Digibooks? Hello, Digibooks? Digibooks, we have 3,000 3, 3, here. Please let's take care of him. We will come and see you, sir. Yes. There's a hand here. Awesome. Ade Foundation, the Sapo family for the Sutaman Catholic High School. 2,500 CDs. They want 5 books. They will get 5 books. 179,500. What an audience. We love you. All right. Ah, there's a hand up there. Please follow me. Follow me. Bye. You see, buying signals. You respect them. Okay. 179,500. So that's 1,003. We add that to uh, 179,000. Oh, yeah. We are at 180,300. Yeah, we are at 180,300. Good stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. Anonymous, the first anonymous has dropped. 1,500 cities for five books. So we are at 182,800. Oh, wow. Good on yes. 182,800. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. 
My people are there to make the music do a good job. It helps. Can the music go off now, please? Thank you. All right. Music down. We like the highlights, but I think it's time for it to go now. Hello? Sound? <laughs> Thank you. So, at this point, I want to invite our special guest, Dr. K.Y. Maku and Dr. Andrew Aputu Graphics Elder for a special presentation ceremony this evening. Let's have Dr. Maku and Dr. Aputu up on the stage. So can we have some music while we're we just uh, regularizing what we have to regularize? All right, thank you. So there's a slight change to the program. Put it on my head. <laughs> Dr. Amy. Dr. Amy, it's here to continue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. We have the honor to present copies of the book to the outstanding Ghanaians covered in the book. For those who are not able to be with us or who have passed on to greater glory, the book will be received by their representatives for the families. It is my pleasure, therefore, to call on our graphics elder the first president of graphics, Dr. Andrew Akutu, to kindly present the first book to Nana Dr. S.A.B. Asanti. Nana Susumani Kroli Asanti, or my name of Asotori, also an eminent graphics member on the podium. Patricia 
Mr. James Barney, who is not in the country at present, is represented here by his cousin, Mr. Alex Kuna Amate Fio. And the late Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Samuel Henry Gru Graves, retired, is represented here by his widow, Mrs. Charlotte Gru Graves, their daughter. Dr. Emily Goodwins will receive the book and the book. Thank you very much for coming here. Thank you. I have great pleasure now to call upon Her Ladyship, Justice Barbara Akayemsi, Justice of the Supreme Court of Ghana, to kindly present the next six books to the following and of their representative. Our eminent Daphix Elder, as I've been said, Dr. Mary Chimri Hesse, is unable to be with us for circumstances beyond their control, and is represented here by her sister, Her Excellency, Dr. Mokwa Blay Adujenfi, former Mr. Ni Alote Ogunto is represented here by his sister, 
Mrs. Elizabeth Bight. The late Professor Emeritus Samuel Ifusu Ama, a graphics member, is represented here by his widow, Mrs. Virginia Ifusu Ama, also a graphics member. is represented here by the widow, a fellow of the Ghana Academy <coughs> of Arts and Sciences, Professor Samuel Sefa Dibu. <laughs> and last, but I know you please, Dr. Fred Wojo Wurapa, a graphics member. Congratulations to all these 19 outstanding Ghanaians who I think we are present or represented by the Ghanaians. We say, are you cold? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I will now now go to see the microphone to Gaffet's elder Nana, Dr. S.K.B. Asante, who will express a words of appreciation on behalf of the celebrants. After which we will hear from Mr. Fred Lavi, who is the CEO of DigiBooks, the publishers, and we'll get a chance to close in remarks. Full of thanks, closing prayer, music to take us home. Nana, Dr. S.K.B. Asante. Christmas dinner. 
Dr. Ruth Graves was my daughter's pediatrician 50 years ago. I worked with Dr. Gardena during the NLC regime. Dr. Awazi was in my dormitory. I was a dormitory monitor at the Calvary House many years ago. Professor Buswama was president of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons when I was a member, and so forth and so on. <clears throat> but my task is to thank you for coming. And I would wish to thank, extend my special thanks to three groups of persons. First of all, Gaffets. For going out of his way to select some of their own and some from without to give them this special honor, not in the form of a medal or a citation, and in the form of real biographies which portray their contribution to this world. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I also wish to thank the team that carried out the project. Well, I guess Donald did not see <coughs> the unsung heroes and heroes project. We have Dr. Eugene Dadabam as our chairperson, Dr. Agnes Kosia Edu, the very venerable Dr. Andrew Akutu, Peace of Quay, and our very young bride, Barbara Opong. They were the ones who made the selection. But before I dwell on the team, I shouldn't forget that graphics <coughs> at the time of the initiation of the project was under the presidency of Her Goodria Sables. I want to pay a special attention <laughs> We now have a new executive, Dr. William. Colin Asari, Kofiti Grant Johnson, Valdo uh, Mensa, Nyako Mensa, Abunada Pa, Kweku, Abrefa, and I've got a name for you, Charles Bell. Charles Benema, Charles Benema, and Karen Fox are also reviewed the book. So I want to go back to the team. The team did an excellent job selecting the honorees Y, X, and not X, uh, Z. So and so. They persuaded another group of graphics for resources. They did a very good job. I'll pay a special tribute to Dr. Andrew Putu <coughs> because Dr. Putu is a proud old boy of responsibility, the school as they call themselves. <laughs> but he learned to play cricket at a Chimota. <laughs> elementary school. That spirit, represented by Pippich, is reflected in his magnanimity and his fairness in the selection of the honorees. I won't go any further. <laughs> then, the compilers. Dr. Virginia. Dr. Bond, Dr. Agnes 
because you are aiding, assisted by the search officer Barbara Popon. The two ladies, distinguished in their own right as former international civil servants, spent days and in fact years, as many as two years, formulating the project, structuring it, reviewing the drafts as they came, rewriting the drafts, structuring the entire book, writing special chapters themselves. They need our profound, they deserve our profound gratitude. Let's thank you. These ladies, my view, spend their time doing other things. Gardening, playing with their grandchildren, writing their own memoirs, or consulting for good money. But they devoted their time and energies in writing the biographies of others and presenting to the nation this really impressive record this confective social and political and economic history of various cities from Gardner's time in the 1940s to <clears throat> just a few years ago, one of them passed away. I really think that this is a rare contribution and we can't thank them well enough. I would like to thank all of you for coming, for supporting the project, for buying the books, and I hope that will be that will be the end of it. This project will continue with various volumes to follow, and I hope you spread a good word from here. Thank you very much.
have only one thing to say. Our first motivation of our generation, that struggles and opportunities to be documented and shared to leave a true legacy and mentors to our children. Ghana's social history, culture, development, and political contest can be captured through biographies of the prominent Ghanaians. The early lives provide a large view of Ghanaian rural societies and evoke the ambience for the evidence that they each took to reach the highest of personal and national recognition. As each life story unfolds, it is intriguing to discover how each one of these personalities found a vital place in the process of nation building and applied themselves assiduously to their own chosen field of activity. There are lots of unsung heroes, and many prominent Ghanaians who have contributed so much in the nation building but have passed away without writing anything or anything written about them, and therefore were unfortunately interred with the intellectual properties. So this project by graphics to capture the life history of some prominent Ghanaians is a very notable one. The series gives a great insight into the inception and building of Ghana through the lives of those being written about. There's no doubt that how is this really published on the one? Other buildings will follow. And the EU is prepared to work with them for the other models. We are the use as specialists in print and demand publishing. We are the to support the authors through the life cycle book development, from conception, editing, book design, launch, and distribution. We have the unique ability to develop a prototype of your actual publication and we'll work with you, the author, the president of the final book, printed and life scale. Other titles we are published include various biographies, autobiographies, Memoirs, academic journals. We are currently the biggest publisher of the Urban Reader series. The GIMS would like to be your publisher of choice. And are dedicated to continue driving signal contribution to Ghana and Africa and Central Wealth. If you have a book ready to be published, we will be happy to collaborate with you to turn your dream into a real reader. Our details are on the program. This book, Gaffer Street, Understanding Ghanaian Book 1, right today will be available in all good bookshops in the country. One can purchase online from Amazon, the publisher's website, and Booknote store website. There are plans to do an e-book version to capture the iPad and Kindle markets. Finally, thank you all for taking the time of your busy schedule to come to support the adoring of this baby. Do not leave without grabbing a book for yourselves, your friends, and your friends' friends. May I also propose that each one of us has got an alma mater. So I propose each one of us buy a book to donate to the books, libraries of our alma mater. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
form of the uh, of the Taliban. Doctor S K B Asante and I'm the group of Asante. I've been family friend dating back to the 1940s.
And this is a very profound statement. And in one commentary that he says that we hope that it will remain streamed into our educational system. This is very, very important. He cited makers of civilization as an example of what he contracted at um, us. I'm sure looking around the room, I see all my senior folks like DJV and the others, uh, Dr. Taban and all of them. We all in our notice school days and I've read Titi Roman Four of the Group for me. <laughs> and Titi Hill of Four of the Group for me. That is the heroes of ancient Rome, Roman Four, and the heroes of ancient Greece, uh, Hill of Four. We read about them. We didn't know who Lucius Cabola was. But we were told that he thrust his left hand in fire and got it bent just for the sake of saving the Roman Empire. And it's about time I need to also learn about these people are all Roman letters. Because as they say in G, this is Okusa if you want to dance outside, dance at, 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 in the home so that you be appreciated. If you are not appreciated, you don't even go out. <laughs> so we must appreciate our own people. There's no point sitting in the dark and squeezing our faces. As we say in G, to sum up one man. What does the rabbi of that? We should, we should celebrate and let our, people, our younger brethren, younger people know that these people were persons who despite the shores of Ghana and that they have left the mark. And that we should, you know, copy them and learn by their examples and follow them so they can become one of them in the future. When we were writing our exams for nine years in 69, somebody said, ah, I want to be like Chuck Berry. And in other words, he wanted to be a first class student. Anyway, he had to head up my bike, so he was close to Chuck Berry. <laughs> so indeed, if we have to get our children to have a sense of patriotism, it should start by having role models for whom they can, you know, and for whom they can lie their touch. To to lead and direct them. I commend this book. I really commend Gifix for this very laudable initiative. And I'm really happier to know that they are not confining it to their own members, but to outside, others outside. Because if you are distinguished, you are distinguished. It was the late Professor Bader who said that he didn't want to be called distinguished. I said, why, well, Prof? I said, when you are distinguished, very soon you will be distinguished. <laughs> so we should try to make, you know, more effort to bring that uh, one, two, one, three, and I think that people will contribute. Having seen the, the effort that has come out, and the result that has come out, you are going to. Uh, every president who comes, I don't know about about ten years, but every president who comes, two years ten years, two years we should turn out two books. <laughs> <laughs> so that, you know, it, it, it comes a recurring theme in your uh, affairs. Now, I'm talking about gift, gifts. Uh, I got in terms, I got to know about gifts only when I was invited to come to this country. But I've not in my current public publication to have been interacting with gifts to source ideas. Because if you have to advise, you have better be better advised to enrich the base of your advice. I know the prejudices that attend to your attempts to break into governmental or public uh, areas. They'll say that. Oh, the idea brand not to which is nothing on the hand. No, you went out for dinner passes, and now you come and want to order us. You see, but I take an exception to this. Dr. Kara Makubia has been engaged in the Council of Things for five solid times over the past 18 years to persecute, to persecute the contract for them to do. And 
maybe when I was fortunate to be chairman of the council at the time and he was fortunate to become a Makwasi, yes. And that I came straight to facilitate the meeting. But I'm sure that any of you here who have classmates, schoolmates, you know, these days of uh, strong school solidarity, that can help you to break some of the barriers. So that when you make a soft entry, you can make your presence felt and felt a very hard way. Because you have such talent and such knowledge in your in your in your, in your bosom that the country must lose up to some. It is such a polarized political situation. We need sober voices like yours to come and calm the waters. So that at least you can have a balanced view of our affairs, not from parochial or purely self-presented, uh, self-opinionated abuses. So I would urge the ethics to be more open, to be more transparent, or organize your own forum, organize your own activities for, for more public exposure. As I said earlier, if you sleep in the dark and you sleep in your face, no matter if you have bread, I know what to say. It. <laughs> so let this be my advice to get this. And on that note, I thank you very much for inviting me to come and share this. If next you invite me, I'll come to you before the invitation comes. <laughs>
say thank you for accepting our invitation and assisting us with the program.
I want to say now are merely to God, not to you. When I did the opening prayers, I started by saying, Praise the Lord. That was my greeting. But this time I'm going to end with Hallelujah. Amen. And those of you who have not sung for a very long time, I'm going to say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Father, it is you that will sing this song, Hallelujah. You have been awesome. What you have done for us today has gone beyond our expectation. I want to say a big thank you to you. We ask that everyone should uh, make a meaningful uh, contribution to the success of this uh, evening's uh, ceremony. And Lord, you have done it. I never dreamt of the money we have been able to raise. It's all to your glory. I want to say thank you, Father. Now, from here, we go to a refreshment, which, Lord, we know everyone is expecting to take part in. We are asking the Lord that you sanctify the refreshment and bless it for us. And then after that, Lord, all we are asking for is protection and safety back to our homes. We end by asking, Lord, that you bless CAPEX and make it the organization that will make a definite contribution to this country's development and indeed to the development of the whole world. To you, we say, God, be the praise, the glory, and the honor for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Yes.